I have a bug problem. Ugh, ugh, so many mosquitoes. This is nuts. My, my stupid electric swatter can't even do anything here. But then I found this video of a machine that uses AI to track mosquitoes to shoot them out of the sky with lasers. This is exactly what I need. It's like the, the fly swatter of the future. The AI drives a bunch of motorized mirrors to auto aim a laser so that it never misses its target. Look at how accurate this thing is. So I bought this 10 watt laser and a bunch of mirrors to see if I could cut a bug in half. Three, two, one. Oh my God. <laughs> And the laser is definitely powerful enough to assassinate a bug, but I was having a lot of trouble getting the computer to auto-aim. No, not airplane, mosquito! And that's when I noticed that this TED Talk is from 2010. So I tried to find more information about how the machine worked, and all I found were these articles about how the whole thing was probably fake. This is bullshit. We were promised the future, and instead we got microplastics and skibbity toilet and Elon Musk. A laser fly swatter doesn't have to be this complicated. Instead of using the mirrors to aim, they could make like a laser grid, and then you wouldn't even need an AI because it can't miss anyways. Like literally this, but made of lasers instead of plastic. So I started removing the old electric grid off of my stupid caveman fly swatter and used some double-sided tape to mount the laser down here. And this is where I should mention that this kind of laser will blind you instantly if you're not wearing the right safety glasses, so make sure you put these on. I'm gonna try to glue a bunch of mirrors on the sides of the racket to make the laser beam zigzag back and forth like this, and if that works, I can put a second laser on the racket that'll zigzag like this and that'll create the perfect laser grid. So while past Alan does all the work like a chump, future Alan is going to tell you about the sponsor of today's video, BetterHelp. Just like the people who claim to invent the mosquito laser killer machine, I tend to overthink things and get in my head a lot. Because sometimes even when we're surrounded by cutting edge technology, the most significant challenges are the ones inside our own heads. And that's why I wanted to share a resource for those who might need it, today's sponsor, BetterHelp. BetterHelp's mission is to make therapy more accessible and more affordable. It can be a challenge to find the right therapist, especially if you're a first timer. BetterHelp is a platform that makes this whole process simpler. After answering a few questions, they can match you with a therapist in as little as a few days. Click the link in my description, betterhelp.com slash Pan, to sign up and get matched. Doing that not only helps the channel, but you also get 10% off your first month of BetterHelp. And if you find that you and your therapist aren't a good fit, it's easy to switch to another without the extra cost or stress. We all have our own issues and struggles. It's completely normal. And even if things are going well, sometimes we just need someone to talk to. So if you think it could be beneficial, or even if you're just curious, go to the link Link in my description, betterhelp.com slash Pan. It helps the channel and you can get 10% off your first month of BetterHelp. And thanks again to BetterHelp for supporting our exploration into lasers and prioritizing mental health. All right, it looks like past Alan did a pretty good job. So now it's time to test the fly swatter of the future. Three, two, one. Oh, okay. I think that's more or less sort of lined up. There are problems. The laser is burning holes in the first mirror and it shoots through and stops reflecting. And when that happens, I have to readjust the position of it for every test. But then the mirrors don't line up so good anymore and then this happens. Ow, oh, oh my God, my pants. Things were going from bad to even less good. So I called my laser friend Styropyro for help. That's a good problem to have, right? When your laser's strong enough to, to burn a mirror. You can usually find good deals on, on first surface mirrors. You have the metal coating in front of the glass as opposed to behind it. Oh, okay, so that's like the, the part that makes it not catch on fire. Nothing's really lined up. You probably want, you know, right angles, uh, then you get a nice grid. So I doodled a new laser swatter that puts the mirrors in a rectangle shape to only reflect the lasers at right angles. And I designed a new racket that only uses 90 and 45 degree angles using Onshape, a free browser-based CAD platform. And then I laser cut that shape out of acrylic. I was also able to find a very nice and expensive slab of first surface mirror, which I then carefully cut into smaller pieces. Oh. Oh no, that, I should have practiced on a much less expensive piece of mirror. Oh no, oh fuck. And I don't have any kind of CNC or manual mill, so the only way I knew the mirrors would be perfectly square was to buy these precision machinist squares and to super glue them together on this perfectly flat granite block. Interesting, it appears that I have super glued the squares 
onto the granite block. Things were going well, but Styropyro agreed to help me finish building my swatter as long as I promised to tell you that he lives in Ohio, even though he actually lives in Illinois. See, that's my uh, decoy. It confuses the stalkers and the sims. I yeah, come see. On down. Here's my big brain moment, okay? It's gonna bounce here, and then here, and then oh, here, and then yeah, here, and then yeah. here, and then here, and then exit out that side. What do you think? Do you think this is gonna work? I if mean, it's like, it's like uh, I mirror, mean, it seems, it mirror. seems like a... For the first test, I wanted to make sure the laser wouldn't burn through the mirror like last time. So I only epoxied two of the mirrors onto the perfectly square frame and powered up one of the two lasers. Three, two, one. Oh! Oh, wow. oh, yeah. Oh, that's perfect. Oh, yeah. So imagine that, but happening 11 times from both lasers. Oh, so I UV'd epoxied the final two mirrors, connected the second laser, and prayed that me and my friends would see a really cool grid, because otherwise it meant my idea was bad, and that would be really embarrassing. I'm just gonna like give it up and just like see if we can see if there's any kind of grid in there. But grid you're gonna works. have to look at the footage because you're not you're not gonna be able to see those goggles. That's the big secret, is it? You never because you're like yeah. In your videos, you're waving the laser <laughs> around. Yeah, and you yeah, never I tell can't see him. <laughs> Oh my god, it's right here. Okay, laser is armed. Three, two, one. Oh, oh it shot you. Oh, it shot Alex. Oh. All right, so that could not have happened unless a beam was coming out somewhere, right? Oh my god, so it's just shooting out lasers everywhere right now? Yeah, what yeah. do you expect with a square of mirrors? <laughs> It's making something crazy. Oh yeah, oh yeah, you got a lot yeah, of reflections yeah. in there. Uh, what is that? Yeah, it's, there's so much light, it's like, yeah, the camera's blown out. The second laser doesn't look like it's doing much of anything, it might. Oh, no wait! I know exactly what happened. What happened? Normally, the beam from a laser engraver spreads out like a cone, but I figured out that you could remove this lens to keep the beam straight and narrow, and I forgot to remove that lens from the second laser. Oh. This makes the laser engraver way more dangerous though, so don't tell anyone I did that. Three, two, one. Is it a grid? Can you see oh, it? It's definitely a grid. Oh, it's a laser grid! Oh, yeah. oh, Holy yeah. crap, do you see that, Jay? Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, that is like, actually it's a like laser fractal. grid. It's like yeah. fractal. Oh, that's so yes! cool. Yes! Oh, that's cool. That's cool. Well done. Oh, I can't believe that worked. I'm so glad that worked. I bought one. The only thing left to do before we could take this thing outside was to plug up wherever all those extra laser beams were leaking from. So at first we tried checking with a thermal camera and you can actually see the hot spots on the mirrors where the laser's bouncing, but we still couldn't find where the leaks were coming from. It's, it's a little so it's shorter. Coming out, it's coming out like right alongside that laser. It's maybe coming out this bottom here. So we decided the most scientific Gentle. thing to do would be to just pick the swatter up and move it around and review the footage after. Try not to be in a 360 degree <laughs> radius around this thing. <laughs> All right, let's give this a try in three, two, one. Oh! It's on, it's on, it's on right now. <laughs> Nothing's oh. on fire. You can see that spots on the glass were yeah, reflecting. Yeah. Oh yeah, what happens if we just stick a match in there? One way to find out. No, it's not. Oh, there it goes. Oh, yeah, 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 you had to find it, right? <laughs> There's there, definitely yeah. beams leaking out yes. everywhere. I saw one hit you in the like dick. Right? Look at the other. Oh, no. oh, there's one on YouTube, oh. Kevin. <laughs> there's one on YouTube. Oh my, oh my gosh. Gosh. Those are big, those are powerful beams. Where too. are those coming from? I was shooting holes in my boys, so I finally just decided to wrap the entire swatter with flame resistant cloth and call it a day. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's, that's going to work. I don't see any leaking. Yeah. Yeah, yeah all right. That way. Tilt it this way. I, I don't see any dots. Yeah. I think I think we might actually be good for leaks. I if I put my face here, can you see my face? From my perspective, yeah. <laughs> so now that we know for sure that we're not gonna accidentally blind any pilots, it's time to show those Silicon Valley geniuses what the future really looks like. Okay. I I'm gonna eat the lime here, actually. Jeez. I'm gonna try the laser <laughs> swatter in three, two, one. Okay, I'm gonna just see if I... It's actually really hard to get them to come in here. I cannot tell at all if this is doing anything. Oh, I smell something. This is so cursed. How is this scaring you? I've seen your videos. This is so cursed. This is so bad. Oh my gosh. Oh, I smell it. Drake's a killer. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Oh, I see some flying through, but they're not—they're not getting hit. What? They're going through the gaps? Probably. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh! Oh! I, oh, oh, oh 
Oh, it's, oh, it's on there. The it's on there. Oh my God. Look at that. <laughs> So, Mr. Ted, if you're watching this, I'm ready to give a TED talk on a real laser mosquito killer machine. Yeah. Oh! That's, uh, <laughs> dang, that one works way better. <laughs>